Good afternoon, Angelinos. I'm going to be reading from the Word of God. Jesus Christ, to say, He came to save the lost. Jesus Christ came to save sinners. Sinners like myself. The Bible says in 1 Timothy chapter 1, I thank Him who has given me strength, Jesus Christ our Lord, because He judged me faithful, appointing me to His service. Though formerly I was a blasphemer, persecutor, an insolent opponent, but I received mercy because I had acted ignorantly in unbelief, and the grace of our Lord overflowed me with the faith and love that are in Christ Jesus. The saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the foremost. But I receive mercy for this reason, that in me, as the foremost, Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience as an example to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ came to save you. He wants you to, he does not want you to perish in hell, but he wishes that you would come to repentance. It is Christ's desire that you would spend an eternity in heaven with him in glory. Folks, every one of us here are going to receive eternal life. The question is, where will you spend eternity? It's either in a place called heaven or it's a place called hell. The Lord does not want you to go to the smoking section. He wants you to go to the preferred non-smoking section. You may have put your shoes on this morning, but a mortician may remove them at night. Are you ready to meet your maker? How are you doing? God bless you, Sarge. So folks, come to Jesus Christ. He loves you. He does not wish you to perish. Give your life to him. Believe on the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, sir. Are you saved? Do you know the Savior? Are you saved from your sins? The Bible says all have sinned and fallen short to the glory of God. God bless you. And Jesus Christ is the only way. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody comes to the Father but through Him. So give your life to Christ. Surrender from your sins. The word repent means to have a change of mind and turn from our sins and turn to Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the vine of life and those that truly are with him will abide to the vine. The, the, the church and the Christians are referred to as the branch. If we are not abiding to the vine, then we will fall away and we will wither and die. The Holy Spirit is the water. He wants to refresh in you. Jesus has the living water and if you take that living water, just like the woman at the well in John chapter 4, the Bible says you will never thirst again. Jesus Christ is the righteous one. He is the holy one. He is the alpha. He is the omega. And he is God in the flesh. Jesus is fully God and he's fully man. He is the great rabbi. He is the king of kings and the Judas. He is the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is the Jewish rabbi that came to save the Jews and the Gentiles. Sir, are you saved? I know. Yeah, I'm saved. All right, praise God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. All right. So, folks, please call out to the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation. I have some Bibles, some tracts, some gospel literature. If any of you have any questions, I'd be, I'll stand here for a while and answer them. If you, if you die today, do you know if you go to heaven or hell? I hope to go to heaven. I do everything I'm supposed to. You said you hope, but you know our hope is in Jesus Christ. We're saved by grace through faith and not of our works, not of anything that we've done. Only Jesus Christ can save us. We've got to put our faith and our trust and hope in Him and Him alone in Jesus Christ. Yes. Would you pray for me? Yes. What do you want me to pray for? That I get up right now. Uh, right now. Uh, I'm a boyfriend. I do love him, but I got into a relationship and I didn't know that this was going to be in it. And now he's all in drugs. He got my head uh, messed up. I don't uh, I just want to get off his circle. It's yeah. like he goes and he, just, yeah. he does this. And, and, and God took me off drugs 18 years ago and I'm standing strong. Are you back on him? No, I don't okay. use I've been using him. I'm standing the strong. Only, the only man you should be dating is Jesus Christ. You understand that? No. These men no. will just use you and abuse you and throw you at the curb, sweetheart. You know that? I tell you, I don't want him to make me strong. I want him to let this stuff hurt anymore. There's only one man that will make you strong, honey, and that is the man, Jesus Christ. He is the mediator between you and the Father. All right, let me pray. Are you going to break up with this guy? 
Right. Is he here right now? I'll talk to him. He's over in the park. He's over there? Okay, you send him over to me. I'd be more than happy to talk to him. Let me tell you something. The drugs is a form of sorcery. It's witchcraft. It's satanic. It is. Yes. And right now, you can talk to him. All you're going to see is the devil. I've seen Satan. Yes, Satan. well, that, I wouldn't doubt it. There's, I've there's, seen I, him. I've seen a couple people here. I have no doubt that are de demon-possessed here, right here in downtown Los Angeles. Let me pray with you. How you doing, sir? Father God, we come before you, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, you love this young lady so much, Father God. Lord, she claims to know you, Father. I pray, Lord, that you would draw her near to you, Lord. Give her the strength to resist temptation, according to 1 Corinthians 10, 13. Give her the strength, Father God, to break up with her boyfriend in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Lord, your Bible says that we are not to be unequally yoked, Father God. I pray, God, you would give her the spirit of strength and exhortation. And Father God, let her, let her break up with this boyfriend in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. And let her not look back, Father God. Give her the strength to walk in your way and your will. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise that Father's name. Hold on to me, Father. Please, yes, she I will. can't hold on to me. Honey, the Lord will never leave you. He'll never forsake you. But I'm asking you that you wouldn't leave him, that you wouldn't forsake him. I'm Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you would change your boyfriend, Lord God. That you would deliver him from his drugs, Father God. You know that those things are of Satan. And we know that's how the spirits get in. It's by drinking distilled spirits and by by using drugs and smoking marijuana, all that stuff is sorcery. And you said that the sorcerers will not inherit the kingdom of God. So Father God, I pray, Lord, that you would give that man the strength and the deliverance to repent from his sins and turn to you, Jesus Christ. Father, I pray, Lord, this girl would get her, her relationship with right, right with you vertically and not, not be concerned about her horizontal relationships, Father. Lord, let her get a relationship right with you, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. All right, sweetheart. I love you, honey. My name is Eva Helen. My name is Bill Retz. I love you, dear. All righty. If I had a Kleenex, I'd give you one, but the Lord says he, he knows the tears you shed. He knows every hair on your head, honey. God is so big, he created everything. He named all the stars. He knows your tears. He knows your little problems. Your little problems are not too small for him. You understand that, honey? Give your life to Christ. Have you done it? Okay, I turned my life over. Okay, but you've got to break up from this boyfriend. I know. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not sinning with him, are you? No. Yeah, you sure? No, I'm not. I'm okay. Because he he's already damned. He's already going to hell because he's a sorcerer. And the Bible says that the sorcerers will inherit, will, will, will be cast into the lake. And if you're fornicating, you know what that means. All right. So make sure you don't do that with him. You break up with that guy. He's going to tear you down. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. I love you. How you doing, sir? Do you have any questions about salvation, eternal life? Well, uh, yeah, I go to church. You go to church? I'm far from perfect, though. It is right. room for improvement. I'm, I'm not perfect either. But um, I was just um, recently laid off a couple of weeks ago from my job, so I'm trying to find work. So I'm wondering right. if I can get a little prayer for that. Yes. What's your name? Derek. Father God, we just ask, Lord, that you would find employment for Derek, Lord. As, as you know, I need that too, Father God, Lord. So I pray, Father, that you would open the doors uh, to give Derek new employment, Lord Jesus. Father, that, that it would be pleasing to you, Father God, if he sweat from the brow, if he would work and toil in the soil, Father God. And we know that that's your will, that we would work. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would do that in Derek's life. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. All right, Derek, I know, I know you go to church, but are you in Christ? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best to be in Christ. I've accepted Jesus Christ as right. my Lord and Savior, but there's... You know, All right, good. Christ is your Lord and Savior. Yeah, there's right. room for improvement. Yeah, room for improvement for me too. We're all growing in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. But you know, he said to repent from our sins and believe in the gospel. Have you done that? Well, mostly. I, I try to repent from my sins, okay. you know, but We've I make a you. mistake. You know. Do you know what, a, do you know what a, the word repent means? It means you have to ask for forgiveness. Well, that's, that's confessing your sins according to 1 John 1, 9. Repent means change. Yes, it means change your mind turn from your sin and turn to Christ. It means forsake your sins and come to Christ. That's repentance. Okay? You've got to repent from your sins. Jesus said in Luke 13, 3, I tell you that unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Those are strong words. That's Jesus himself. That's the New Testament God. In other words, there is no salvation without repentance. Do you understand that? Do you, do you under, that I understand that. Okay, yeah. so make sure you repent. 
Ask for his Holy Spirit to give you the strength to repent. It says in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, that all man is tempted with sin. Every man, I'm tempted with sin. But he's left us a way of escape. He's left us an avenue of escape. He's left us a door of escape. And if we don't turn from those sins, eventually that door is going to be closed. Then we're going to be caught. Or if we don't turn from those temptations, we'll be caught in those sins. So the Lord wants you to resist those temptations, turn from them, turn to Christ, resist the devil, and draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. It's a constant verb action. Christianity is a verb, okay? You have to take action. Yes. We're saved by grace through faith alone in Jesus Christ, and not of our works, not of our actions, not of our church, not of our anything, but, but, but once we are saved, we have to take action. All right, sir? God bless you, Derek. I hope you find a word too. I love you, brother.